Are you going to stop the animals from ripping each other apart? Is it better not to create that life in the first place? Yes. Than to create it and then take some? What's your view on that? No. How do you justify killing if one? If I had my cow, I would kill But they're not yours. What do you mean? If I had my slave, I'd kill my slave. Right. They're not yours. I'm an angler. And a lot of anglers, we, we um, should we say, generate fish or breed fish to put in the rivers and the lakes and give them a life. And some of them are caught and, and some may be killed or returned. But is it is it better not to create that life in the first place yes. than to create it and then take some? What's your view on that? Oh, 100%. It's wrong to create wrong life to, create to take it. it. But, but, you're you're taking all of them. but it's like playing Russian roulette, isn't it? Yeah. We're saying we're going to breed 100 people yeah. and I'm going to randomly point to 20 and them 20 are going to go to a gas chamber. Yeah. Well, For that I mean, person that's who that's gets selected, they're like, oh my yeah. God. Are you that's a, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because you have big muscles. How come? Because, that's coming back to a point you were talking about earlier, I like this. That's a full... It, it what we need is nutrients. Seen, um, we, so it doesn't we, matter we don't, about the percentage, even though we're only taking a very small fraction of the percentage that, of the fish from what, the sea, you would yes. still disagree with that. Of course, of fish. because it's yeah. one. All of these people here, there's loads of people in Hyde Park today. Yeah. If someone come to Hyde Park today, I really hope this doesn't happen, and hurt one of us, even one of us, say they're going to come over and take this guy. Right, okay. So this guy, it matters. Yeah. And this is where the injustice is. Right. Okay, but equally, we also know things like if everybody drives on the roads today, probably 100 people will die. But yes. They're not going to be alive at the end of today. Yes. So people take that choice and they decide that they're willing to take that risk. They're deciding. These animals aren't deciding. Right. You're breeding fish into existence. Okay. People are breeding okay. cows into existence for their meat. We're deciding on their fate. Okay. And then we're saying, well, we're doing that because we consider ourselves the higher order, which is whether that's right or wrong, as you say, I think it is questionable, like you say. I believe it is wrong because yeah. for this, uh, these animals, their life to them is important to them. Yeah. So just because, uh, imagine if a superior race came down and done to us what we do to animals. Yeah. How would we be about it? We'd be like, hang on, yeah, yeah. And, we've, yeah. and what have we got? We've got the ability to fight back. We've got the ability to say, right, this alien race has come down, they've taken all the women, and they're forcefully impregnating the women, and then they're going to take the women's milk, and we're going to kill all the boys, and we're going to take the females away, and we're going to create a dairy industry from female women. Us guys would say, whoa. It's not our fault, it was an evolution, where obviously people had to sustain themselves, for the energy they needed. And I think the gentleman was right about, I don't think you could sustain the whole population with vegan food or food. I'm gonna come back to that point, Actually, but you're no, right. No, now, question, we don't need to. So I'm not ignoring, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just gonna answer this last, let's, last let's bit. Let's just bring the first thing though. I'll come back to that point. The, the whole question was, what would happen to the... That's right, that's right. So, the society, at like the moment... Society. Yeah, the, the ecosystem the, the the world, yeah. Standard. Listen, right, at the yeah. moment... Yeah. Apparently the cows... Uh, We're not going to be overrun by chickens, I promise. Pigs, yeah. the methane gas... 80 billion land animals a year brought into existence to slaughter them. We have 8 billion people, okay, down here. Now, when we go vegan, we're not going to go dush and all 8 billion people are going to go vegan. Well, What's going to happen is, that's what I want, but it's not going to happen. But the reality is, we're going to come out, we're going to have, it's going to be stages. Like any other injustice, black people didn't get rights overnight. People fought for black people for years to get rights. Same, we're fighting for the animals, it's going to take years. But when we do, the amount of vegans are going to rise like this. So what happens is the amount of demand for animal bodies and flesh and secretions is going to drop. So we're going to breed 80 billion, 70 billion, 60 billion, 50 billion. So as the vegans come up, the amount of animals being bred into existence to kill them is going to come down. Are you going to have a nice even shift? Then what's going to happen is exactly what you came to earlier. Eventually we won't have cows anymore. We won't have chickens anymore. They'll go extinct. That shift is going to be because it takes a lot more effort, uh, resources to produce vegetarian food no. than no, I'm, I'm not trying to. That's no. what the science. I'll is. tell you, mate. Right, listen to this. It's really simple. 80 billion land animals, and we feed them. They don't. They don't eat just grass, right? We feed 80 billion land animals. There's only 8 billion people. So when we're looking at how we feed the population, we're already feeding 10 times the population. And how much does a cow eat compared to me or you? So we're already feeding these animals this this amount of food, right? I don't know. I think a cow eats a lot more than a human being. Exactly. This is my point. Yeah. And we breed all these billions of cows into Maybe existence just, uh... and then we feed them. So what's going to happen is as the animals are going to be declined, the amount we breed into existence, veganism is going to rise. Land is going to be freed up that we can then use for arable farming. And then we're going to be able to sustain the environment. But I've got to stress environmental and health. These are two reasons that are benefits from being vegan. Because as a victim, I wouldn't say I'm going to stop punching my wife in the face because it hurts my hand. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? I shouldn't punch my wife in the face because it's, there's a victim. No, you're, you're nice That's my wife here. So I shouldn't punch her in the face because it's a victim. So can we actually, um, I don't know if anyone's ever asked you, can you tell us what your actual uh, intake is? And I want you to be honest with the supplements that you might take. Yeah, of course. Whole season up. So, sorry, yeah, I just come back to that point you said about, you know, about the fish not giving them a life at all because ultimately we'll tell that. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. That to you and say, would you rather have 30 years on this life? Sorry, yeah, 30 years of life. Yeah. Um, okay, well. Yeah, they never existed. Yeah, they, they yeah. never existed. Yeah, yeah, that's a question, really. Yeah. Good question. Yourself, Good question. But the difference in this question is, mm. I had the choice. You were asking me, would I rather have 30 years and then see a gas chamber? Mm. I have a choice. I could say, yeah, do you know what? I really enjoyed. The reason why I say gas chambers is because 90% of our animals are gassed in gas chambers in the UK. Yeah. Chickens and pigs, over 90% see a CO2 so gas chamber. That, trust, trust me, bro. I'll give you a card in a minute so you see it. You're not giving any value whatsoever to the life that the animals have whilst they're here on for your, your arguments. There's no value to that, Because veganism is not a welfare issue. It's an abolig uh, abolitionist approach. It's, it's a rights violation. So I have the choice. I have 30 years in a gas chamber or I say no but the chicken that we bred into existence for eggs had no choice it's when it came into the world they, their life whether their life is a backyard and luxury or whether their life is a factory farm their life ends in a gas chamber I think your principles are right as you say we need to accelerate it and bring it forward as much as we can Obviously, how do you think we could do that how do you think we do that that's a really good point I think it's already happening with education with media health as you say and Looking at the arguments you say about how much we are actually spending, and I, and I agree with you about this factory farming of some of the, uh, you know, the, the poultry and things like that is absolutely awful. It's going to own health risks. Yeah. So it needs to be accelerated, and probably over the course of a 50-year time span, realistically. I think that is a more more realistic. Yeah, yeah. We go through, we go towards a gradual, more humane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not necessarily to wipe out humans eating uh, humans eating meat. Uh, but to actually, um, this is interesting, to, uh, right? Towards a final target. Now, what I'm going to do now? Let's flip. Let's flip this on the head. Now, you guys are the victim, and I say, just going to be gradual, guys. I'm not going to stop completely. There will be some of you that I will tend to. Not going to do it quick. I understand yeah. that this is wrong. What's happening to you? Yeah. But I'm going to take my time. Yeah, yeah. What would your response yeah, be? It's an individual. That's not acceptable. Yeah, 100, mate. Yeah. But you, you do understand the human colleagues is like. It's in existence, been in existence uh, for All right. uh, millennia. Listen, like, uh, we just have how did how did any injustice stop? Let's take give me an injustice that stopped in history. You name it. I don't want to. I don't want to bring the slavery because that, I think that's such a uh, ignorant. You choose it. You choose the injustice. To use animals suffering compared to human suffering. I could directly relate the two, but I'll let you choose a different yeah. one. You choose a different one. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's certain things that I stand for, certain things I don't stand for, which society stands Just for. Just give me, give me an injustice um, that stopped. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll say women's right to women's vote. Women's rights, okay. The way women achieve the right to vote is a small group of individuals stood up against the, against the masses. Yeah. They stood out, they ostracized themselves. They stood up independently when the whole world was against them and said no. Women deserve the right to vote the same as we do. They were ostracized, they were laughed at. The women, they met physical violence. Physical violence. They got in prison. Yeah, one, um, uh, the lady was killed. They met horrific pushback, but they achieved women's rights because each person slowly took individual accountability. So there's five of us here, right? If each one of us take personal accountability and go vegan, the demand drops. Now you're going to go away. Oh, I spoke to this guy, Speaker's Corner today, and do you know what? He said some good things about animal rights. Your friend's going to go, oh, I'm looking to that. They're going to go vegan. They're going to go and speak to someone. They're going to go vegan. We get this ripple effect, and that's how we achieve systemic change. But if no one takes personal accountability and says, do you know what? When everyone's not racist, I'll be not racist. When everyone agrees women should vote, I'll put that women should vote. When everyone's against, uh, when everyone's for gay marriage, I'll agree it's all right. We can't just piggyback, or for want of a better phrase, we can't just join onto things when they become moral or ethical. Stand up for what's right, even if you're the only person. Stand up for what's right. You don't believe, like I don't believe, I don't agree with probably majority of what you. Stand you're against for. factory farming. No, I'm against cruelty to animals. Why? Because of my background, my religious beliefs. But okay, uh, to, but to so cruelty why? To any, cruelty to any, not just sentient being, inanimate. 
everything and you're against anything. cruelty to animals no so cruelty to anyone so how humans. can you justify uh, being non-vegan I, I would put it in an order of humans first yeah you might have your order no 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 you tell me your order my order would be yeah um cruelty to humans yeah that's my most yeah i hate the, I hate the most yeah then possibly the animals yeah um and probably that would be my there you do I mean, too. I don't consider <coughs> the, the abuse, um, um, plants and trees. Plants and, yeah. So if your if your religion of your objective is to be is causing oh, my daughter is a vegan and I'm going to tell you what you say very very seriously. Say this card, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very so much for a nice chat. It's difficult being a leader, as you say, at the front and making change. So keep up the good work. Thank you, Thank mate. You, you had people, animals, plants. Now your religion states that you're trying to be kind and compassionate and reduce harm and suffering. So why to everything and every to month. everything? So if the lowest part of your scale is plants, why don't you just eat plants? Why are you no, causing suffering not, in the middle? I, I don't consider it to. I don't put it in a tier system where I will um, ignore harm to. Well, I did say plants wasn't part of my. Uh, no, you said plants were at the bottom. You said no, no, humans, said, animals, said, uh, and then trees and no, stuff no, at the bottom. Said, no, I said plants. Uh, uh, foliage, we don't really necessarily abuse them like we abuse... Because we can't, because they're not sentient. Well, they yeah. haven't got a brain. I suppose uh, you, somebody, someone could say, and there is scientific evidence that animals do have um, nerve system as well. Animals because, have nervous system. Sorry, not animals, uh, plants, because when you cut a, a, a plant, you can see it oozes green colour blood and it coils. No, oh. mate. No, mate. There's not. There's not. That's... To have sentience, you have to have a brain and a central nervous system. It's like saying... It's, 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 apparently, you have a central nervous no. system. No. Plants don't have a brain. Plants don't have brains. Plants are alive and they, re they react to stimuli. I'll give you an example. When I touch my phone, it lights up. It doesn't say that it's alive. It reacts to a stimuli. Okay, anyway, let's go with the, what, the point you was going to make when I yep. said about being... Um, uh, Your hierarchy, uh, hierarchy, humans, of, animals, everything else. You know, being... Um, Looking after humans first, yep. animals yep. second. Yep. Not necessarily that, that, I'll, I'll put a caveat because if that doesn't necessarily mean that you should go out of your way to be cruel to animals in order to be nice to human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, okay, it I understand. Goes, it goes, it goes hand in hand. Yeah, but what you're doing is you're stopping at animals and you're being cruel to animals because you like to eat them when you can eat well, that's plants. Your, that's your opinion definition of being cruel. Cool. I, but I, this is your hierarchy. Gut system is made. What about? I mean, you've heard this a million times. Are you going to stop the animals from ripping each other apart? So obligate carnivores, are obligate carnivores. I can't go into the like jungle and stop a lion, right? Why not? Because I can't. But what I can do is if speak to humans. You could like uh, <laughs> shoot them all. Like you keep talking about gas chambers and. I would, which, I would which, agree. Which, with, I would agree with you that nature. Uh, I would agree with you. Nature's horrific, and when we get to nature. If we can intervene and stop this, then that's a great thing to do. But if I can't get human beings to stop putting innocent chickens into gas chambers, if I can't get human beings to stop raping dairy cows and stealing their babies, what chance do I have against a tiger in the middle of like it's a jungle? Like appropriate um, language to use. Of course. What would raping? you call it? Is it? Are you talking about like sexual rape or? Of course. How is a cow made pregnant? What a human being rapes? So, I, no, I, no, no. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you're talking about the. Uh, the process and, and practice they used. To, I know. I, I actually find that quite. It's, it's, that's what I'm talking about. If, if this is a woman, <clears throat> and you know, like um, uh, cutting open a cow, taking the baby out. Listen, if we take human women, here, the scenario I had earlier. If we took the human women here, and we took them somewhere, and we tied them down because they put them in a rape rack, we tied these human women down, and we came in, and we inserted something into her, and injected semen into her, and forcefully impregnated her. And when she's carried that baby for nine months, take her baby from her and then put her in a big milking machine. Yeah, what would you call that? Aware, but that kind of thing actually goes on in certain societies. It goes... And um, <coughs> certain... Are you against that? Of course. The, so why are you against the dairy industry? Sterilising... Um, well, I did say to you that I do put humans um, above animals when okay. it comes to protection and... But you're putting humans above animals just because it comes to your taste pleasure. Yeah. You're not no, telling I me a justification. Say, um, it's not necessarily just taste pleasure. What is it? It's it's um, it's the protein that my body needs. But you get all your protein from plants. Every single mainstream uh, um, protein comes from plants. 
Simple. No, That's there's, it. There's a, All there's, protein comes from plants. There's a certain proteins that are beneficial from meat, no. which you cannot get from no. uh, plants without. No. Okay. Listen. No, you're wrong. The question I ask you. Tell me your um, consumption and then I can probably understand it better. A variety of tofu, seitan, tempeh, lentils, legumes, chickpeas, oats. Um, I use applied nutrition, vegan um, protein powder. Okay, um, so this is, um, I, 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 you, you can keep aside all the natural plant um, items that you eat. Yeah. What kind of um, manufactured, like synthetically manufactured um, tablets? It's made from soy. Uh, do you take any uh, vitamin tablets? I take a B12. See, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a uh, doctor, so I don't know the ingredients of. Um, but I know, the, the little I know is that you have to supplement your. If you're a vegetarian, even if you're a vegetarian, or especially if you're a vegan, you, you have to supplement your diet. With so many manufactured foods, then food that's not natural. It's not natural. I know that. I do. I, I do agree with you on that. For an animal to be stuck somewhere, not able to get out. That's the most. Yeah, I do. I do agree. And I get it. Like from when we was in the caveman time, we was like hunt animals, but we're not there now. I think we're the most intelligent, so we should be able to yeah. like look after. See, I, I, I would agree happens. with a lot of things, but unfortunately, I'm in the middle ground. You guys are on one extreme to the other extreme. So but one extreme is you equate, uh, you keep going on about animals being in the gas chamber, and then you have the other extreme that don't give a shit about how much suffering animals, as long as they can get it cheap. Uh, I'm but there is no middle ground. There's no middle ground. There's middle no, ground. there's not. And not there's to the individual you sent to the gas chamber. There's no, you can't be in the middle. There's no, there's no gray area. You either send animals to be slaughtered or you don't. Um, this symbol, you can't do it a, yeah, lot, a little bit. No, but the slaughter, you're talk, you keep talking about gas chamber. Well, let's say bolt gun. Let's are say you, a bolt gun. Are you against like all slaughter? All slaughter. Uh, like uh, knives, bolt uh, guns, however, electric prongs, however you want it. But what I want to ask you is what is your justification to continue doing it? Um, what, eating or, or doing that? Because I don't do that act personally. No, but I, you fund I, it. You no, vote for I, it. I don't fund it. You should I do. I need. Um, um, What's the word? If uh, I pay the hitman and he kills someone, no, 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 I'm as guilty as a hitman. What you're saying indirectly, I, I obviously fund it. They're in it for you. And, yeah. You put their bodies in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. They're in it for you. And I actually just recently, uh, I've noticed the meat quality is just obviously it's just. Gonna That's be irrelevant. You can't say that. That's irrelevant. But you're not giving me a justification. I gave. I, I think I gave it to you several times. <laughs> Never. You haven't got one justification. What do you need? Uh, the. the the taste of meat, which you keep saying. You like and, the taste. And the energy it gives me. I've tried eating... Uh, Listen, you can get energy, taste and protein from plants. They don't have a victim in a slaughterhouse. All right? Now, you said you're a Muslim earlier. Yeah. yeah? Now, Muslims, you have to justify any injustice done to any animal bigger than a sparrow unjust. Now, you can't justify... It's in the Quran. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. When we do this, we'll pull up the thing in the Quran. Please pull it up because it's not. We are told to be kind and uh, kind to every creature. Yeah, anyone, anyone who hurts an animal, even as large, larger than a sparrow, unjust, will be judged no, for it. I don't think yeah, that, I've never. I, My I've friend, never tried. check out the Quran. I promise you, it's Maybe in there. You can pull it up from there. You can ask it. It's in there. It's in there. It's no. There is actually there is a verse in the Quran regarding one of the prophets, I think it's uh, who you say Solomon, uh, was concerned about stepping on ants. So I don't know where you got this um, idea of sparrow. No, no, it's, Muslim, in the, it's in there. As Muslims, we shouldn't harm any creature. Let me see if I get it. Let me see if I can get it squirrely so I... Maybe, maybe we, we don't want to go into the religious because then it will turn into a religious debate. That's true. And, um, um, did he convince you? Hey? Did he convince you? No, he will never convince me because of my uh, root belief in my ethos regarding uh, what human beings are, how we're designed, the teeth that we have, our intestines, how it can, um, uh, you know, um, just process it. meat. Um, like if you give... Here you go. You Whoever is kind to the creatures of God is kind, is kind to himself. He who takes pity on even a sparrow and spares his life, God will be merciful to him on the day of judgment. And that's in quotes in the uh, Islamic quotes, in the yeah. Quran. Because Jesus was giving out fish. No. He was. No, he wasn't. He fish. Yeah. No, he didn't. Absolutely. Where? 
He's, he's fish and bread. Fed, that's no, what he's saying. No, 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 no. Fed five. No. Go and read in the Bible. No, mate, go and read. What does fish mean? There's three. There's three meanings to fish. One, not one the meaning. Not the metaphor. Yeah. It's physical fish. It was a miracle. You got? Have you got? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no. Are you Christian? No. All right. You need to watch this um, debate here. No, you need to read the Bible though. No, no, no. There's an actual verse where it says it. Fish was a a, ve a vegetable relish that they put on re on bread. It was. It, it was. No, a no, no, no. Check it. Is in this case seems like a cult. No, not a cult. It really does. Why is it the sound of a cult? Why, but right, let me get this. Let me get this here. In the Bible, you're distort distorting it. No. Nah. This here. Where the Jews this guy here. here. Video. No, no, no. I'm about it's to just explain to you. YouTube video. This guy here. The Bible is a different thing. Let, let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. This guy here. I, uh, debates this reverend here. These are both Christians. Right. They were both born into a Christian families. Both their dads were um, parents of religious pillars in the community. This guy here just released a Christ spiracy documentary that's coming out. Right. Where he goes through seven to ten years, I think it was, of looking at um, ancient texts, how texts have been translated from Aramaic through to Hebrew through to Greek, right. lost translations of words, and there is nowhere in the Bible where fish was identified as the animal fish. Trust me, check it out. No, there's not. Check it out. It was 2,000 years ago. Check it out, exactly. Mentality. Exactly, so People these things, these words get lost in translation. Trust me. I think, look, trust me. I agree with you in many points. Like, animals are treated awfully nowadays. There's a mass killing of animals. We're doing it too much. We're giving too much land to animals to eat instead of us. But you're putting it as a priority as opposed to other more important things. What's more important? Can you see how the world is being right now? Yeah, I can. Wars? I can see 80 billion land animals and slaughterhouses. Why are you putting that before because everything could, else is working in the in the human world? I could care about both at the same time. But why are you here? Like you guys, uh, you're very active, the vegan crew. Of course. Right. Because but we see the victim. you're prioritizing other things that are way more important that regard humans. What are you doing for humans? I'm not doing anything. Why? Because if I'm it's so important like to you, you Absolutely. should be doing something about it. Absolutely. And it's I'm defending opinion. animals. I'm working about it. I'm working I'm defending it. animals. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not pro-human abuse. I'm against wars. I'm against but you everything. But you doing anything about it. I'm, my you focus... You things on the table. You choose animals over humans. My focus is animal rights because they need over help. Human rights. For me, yes. Over human rights. Humans have rights I protecting mean, them. That's a very humans, weird point. Humans have rights. Do you have a right protecting you? Yeah. The fucking animals don't. Yeah, but the animals so are fucking drawn a commodity yeah, but and instead of the gas chambers. Like what you're saying, so for me, I'm standing up for the little guys. Above humans, it's no, I'm not. fanatic. I'm putting animals above your taste pleasure. I think, I What's think... more important to you, your taste or an animal's life? Absolutely, I agree on your point. So why do you send them and condemn them to death? I agree on your point. But you condemn them to death for your taste. I, well, I agree on your point fully. So how are you justifying? Or are I'm you vegan? No, no, I'm not. You're I'm not vegan. Not justifying, so how are you justifying? I'm not justifying the scale of killing that's happening now. How do you justify killing but if one? If I had my cow, I would kill. But they're not yours. What do you mean? If I had cows? my slave, I'd kill my slave. Right. They're but, not yours. Yeah, but there's a difference in human and animal. What difference? There is. What's the difference? They, they don't actually. There's a, what's the difference in how we what's the difference? interact with the world? Human selection, we made it. Animals are still at a very low level. Do you realize that? Why are you putting those rights above human rights? I'm not. I'm putting no, their. I'm putting their life. Me about veganism. I'm putting their life above taste pleasure. Now there are humans. And there are humans who are similar to these animals. I agree. There are humans who have um, like uh, mental abilities, or humans that have. Uh, additional but needs, human. but human. what's the trait that a human has that means they should be protected rather than an animal could be commodified I, and extra and ex animals shouldn't be protected. What, I'm but, not saying that. But you I'm pay for them to that. go to slaughterhouses. I would do that. So that's hypocritical. But at the same time, I wouldn't do it at such a scale. I but think it's crazy. That how do you justify it. even the one? Taste, culture, traditions. And now, things. if you were the victim and I said taste, culture, and tradition, would you accept that? I wouldn't, but I'm human. Right. Well, why do you? Why can you not accept it? But for them, it's just tough fucking luck. Because they have no way of saying it and communicating. Who says? With us. Who says? Did you say it. If you judge a fish did by you, its ability to, to climb a, a tree, it's stupid. Did you talk to a fish? But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it's stupid. But a fish, a fish is right to their life. Their life to them is as important as your life is to you. Absolutely. But so what happens so when a bear goes to get, uh, grab a fish? You're not a bear. Yeah, but so that's the same principle. You're not a bear. No, it's not. It you is. go into why Tesco's. You, the fish. You go into Tesco's. Huh? You go into Tesco's and you pay for animals Absolutely. to go into slaughterhouses. And in that you know, sense, you're I not agree a bear. You. agree you're not, you. you're not in survival. You're not a bear. You're not an obligate carnivore. You have see, choice. When I see the meat in Tesco, when I see the fish in Tesco, part of me cringes. And I, I do see that. 
I'm on a process of eating less meat. I'm Why? Getting it from sources that are much more local and much more humane. Why? You can't humanely source dead bodies. You can though. How? Because people have been eating meat throughout their life. People had year, slaves for years. Should yes, we so? continue to have slaves? Exactly, but that's human. That's on a human level. But you've not told me the difference. Name the trait that's different between a human and arrow, uh, and a human and an animal. Would the an moral animal be trait. Here arguing? It, 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 just because an animal can't speak your language, it's I can't speak speaking. Chinese. Does it's that not mean about that? speaking. What's it about it's then? It's about a whole process of the brain of saying, okay, I'm an animal. I'm not going to be eaten. They so, don't know what's happening. So for you, it's a level of intelligence that matters if you can um, exploit someone or not. Absolutely. So what about a human, human that's level. less intelligent? But there's no humans that are uh, intelligent not enough to be killed. What about humans who are as intelligent as a cow? Is it okay to exploit them? Absolutely not. Why? Because they're human. But you just said that it wasn't a human that determined whether you can no, or not. I didn't say that. You said, I said it's intelligence. No, no, I said that that animal doesn't see the facts of why you being why they're being killed. They don't need to. What do they're you sentient. Need to? They're sentient beings. They're having an experience of their own life, right? Mm. They are someone. They just they choose. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm sleep. I'm happy. I'm sad. Mm. They have emotions. They have choices. They are a living creature subjecting their own life. Yeah. What is the what is the trait that's different between a human doing exactly the same? Whether they're intelligent or not intelligent, whether they can construct buildings or not construct buildings, what is the actual difference? Name the trait, the moral difference. Mm. Can I tell you, why are we here? Okay, I'm going to answer you a question. Right. But we're here after years and decades and centuries of animal eating. Right. right? Okay. Right. And you're saying, okay, that was done in the past. We can change. Right. Like slavery and other things. Right. Okay. But why does it have to change? Because why are you we so should. adamant about it? Why should we have, why should we women vote? Why should women vote? Why changes? should women vote? What? Why should we not have slaves? Why should all these injustices have stopped? Does it improve you as a human? If I was, if I was if one I of them was a slaves, woman and I couldn't, I couldn't vote, of course, <laughs> like mm. voting would improve my life. But it's not if about us. If I was a slave us. and I wasn't a slave anymore, that would improve my life. Exactly. But it's not about us. We're not a victim. We're the oppressor. But you're the oppressor. And I agree. But you don't I have agree to be. To some extent. I really do. You don't have but to be. There's so many other things that are way more important. But you could like fight them. You're like blindsided on the no, at all. You and could people dying in the street out of hunger, out of poverty, out of war, and you're here debating veganism where you could be somewhere else doing way more good stuff. But you, that's what I'm saying. Listen, there is no bigger life loss than the animal holocaust year in, year out. 80 billion right. land animals. Two to seven, two to three trillion sea animals. Mm. So there is no bigger life loss. But do you think there that, is no bigger injustice? I agree. That's why I said on a huge scale, it's it's messed up. This is the biggest injustice. And I agree. I agree. So my focus is in the right direction. At the same time, do you think it's the right time now, considering the chaos around the world, to 100%. focus on veganism? A hundred percent. People's minds are ready to accept that. A hundred percent. Do you think there needs to be more peace before people will focus on animals' life instead how of human can we, life? How can we be peaceful the whole time we have someone's body in our mouth? But How can I say to you to be peaceful the whole time I have dairy cows hooked up to milking that, machines that doesn't taking their babies? The human anger. It doesn't you increase can't, the human bro, anger. You can't it preach peace to me the whole time you're not vegan because you pay for the most but violence. That's, that's a religion you're talking about. It's not. It is. Veganism's not religion. It is. How is veganism a religion? The way you're posing it. No. You're absolutely describing the religion. No. Is racism like, is wrong, being anti racist right. a religion? Sorry? Is racism or anti racism a, a religion? Racism is about humans. That's but what I'm talking is it about. a religion? But it's about humans. Is it a religion? Absolutely not. Same as veganism is not. No, veganism Racism is, is a moral and ethical an position. It's an idea. It's not. It's a, an injustice. It's a social. It's but a it's social not movement. Anything about an animal? You're purely like projecting human thoughts on an animal. Not it's at an all. Idea. I'm putting a living being who has a subjective experience of their life above taste, pleasure, above convenience, above comfort, because their life That's to not... them is more important than my taste. Hmm. So how are you justifying your taste being more important than their life? I think to some extent it's fine. How? Not at a mass scale. You can't just say it's fine. Why that's not? like me saying I take the responsibility of killing it. But that's but that's fine. Uh, let me flip this on right. you. I'm a rapist. I know that there's a, a victim. Yeah, a rapist, I'm gonna continue a doing it. I, I'm gonna continue doing it and I'm fine with it. I'm humans. fine with raping people. I'm fine work. with it. it it's okay. Work. It does, because you've not told me the moral difference between a human and an animal. It's not a moral thing. Of course it is. Why is it a moral thing? Because well, there's no moral difference. What? It's, it's not morally right to do it to one and wrong to do it to the other. Of it's wrong it to do it to both. Humans live on another level of thinking of being than animals. But not all humans. 
Yeah, so a human more... that has the same level of thinking as an animal. Sure. sure. So in, in your mindset, I can now exploit a human. Yeah, but think about the connections around that human. There's families involved with that human. It's Same with the with... animals. The animals have families. A maternal bond between, have you seen a maternal bond between a dairy cow, cow and her calf? And it's beautiful. So it's the same. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's the same. I, I absolutely love animals. And you're going to say, oh, but how can you love animals if you want to kill them? You can't love animals and send them to slaughterhouses. Of course you can't. There you go. I can't love you and send you to a slaughterhouse, can I? Yeah, but that's a human thing. But you've not told me the difference. I mean, Every it, time you hit a dead end and then you deflect, but you've not told me the difference. All you keep saying is, is one's a human. I know one's a human. Same enough? as one's a sheep, one's a dog, one's a cow, enough? one's a pig. Is no. Why is it not enough? Because we're all sentient beings, which levels us to the same playing field. We come down to sentience. You could say humans, cows, sheep, chickens, chicken, chi and uh, fish. What about, and here's your hierarchy. What about, like, but when I say sentience, boom, Sentient beings. Insects as well. Sentient, depending on if they're sentient. Oh, depending on. Because some insects might not be sentient. It's, I don't know the science on insects. I don't know the science on insects. But I know the science on chickens, cows, sheep, pigs, and all the animals that get sent to slaughterhouses. So how do you see the future? I see the future being like, vegan. What's your ideal world? Like, what My happens? ideal world is animals having rights, protecting at least their life and their bodily autonomy. Just leave them the fuck alone. Stop exploiting how would, them. How would humans eat? So. 10 billion humans, 20 billion humans, how would they eat? We, fit, we I said earlier, right, we breed 80 What's the billion. What's food right now with protein? Rice, lentils, legumes, chickpeas. Rice, lentils, legumes, chickpeas. Per calorie? Yeah. Absolute 100%, not. bro. Chicken is <laughs> way cheaper no. compared to rice. You said per you calories. No. The nutrition that no. is the chicken Peanut gives butter's you, got so opposed. much more calories and protein yeah, than, than your... Butter? If it means not hurting animals, yes. So you're going to mess up your stomach. I'm not messing up my stomach. And fill yourself with peanut butter instead of eating a chicken. I'm not messing up my stomach. It seems like a sect. It seems like a religion. What if humans were more nutritionally dense? And I said, no, I'm going to go around killing humans and eating humans. And people used to do that. Is that wrong or right? It's absolutely wrong, but they're humans. Right. But I'm going to ask you a question about what's going to happen. 80 billion land animals a year are brought into existence. They're fed crops. We have 8 billion humans. All right. When people go vegan and you get the increase in people being vegan, the supply and demand is affected by animal products. As the demand is dropped, the supply will drop, will free up land. 80 billion land animals fed crops. 8 billion people. We got people starving. We got children fucking starving all over the world and we're feeding 80 billion fucking land animals. That's ridiculous. That's the point. I completely agree with you. But you are supporting that system the whole time you're not vegan. You cannot it's be against true. that and not it's be not vegan. True. Of course it is. There's a, there's a pocket of uh, situations where you have your own farm, there's a local grower, there's a small industry that can work and thrive. And there's the a victim. Machine, the and there's a victim. Take away that... the moral side. No, of because course. the whole thing is the like, whole thing We're talking about morals. statistics. We're talking about statistics. <laughs> no, I'm about talking about the crops. morals. Yeah, but you, your argument was about the crops. No, you were asking me about crops. I'm right. saying about morals. But we were talking about that at that time, right? We're talking about fields and the land that's given to animals. Right, of course. So, if you give that to small industries, like very small entities, I'm happy with that. But like on a mass scale, I'm not happy with that. From an environmental position, you can be. But from a moral or rights position, you can't be. I argued my point already. Like again, I would be happy to kill. I mean, I'm not going to say happy, but I would be okay killing a cow. Why? What gives you the right? What do you mean the right? What gives you the right? That's all I said. I'm okay with raping women. But do you agree that human life and life on the world has ups and downs? Like there are situations of uh, like uh, advantage and disadvantage. It's part of humanity. It's part of life. It's part of everything. It's this... Why you got to regulate everything? That everything needs to be perfect and smooth. That's not a world that's going to work. There's victims here that are being brought into existence, kept in these barns, and sent to slaughterhouses. No, mine's straight. Yours is all over the place because you're flicking. So. I'm against this, but it's okay to do it here. I don't like that, but a little bit of it's okay. I'm consistent. I'm consistent. You could be pro humans and you could fight for human justice all you like. And whilst you do it, you could also be vegan and stop paying for animals to go into slaughterhouses. If you care, if you have empathy in you for humans, why do you not have empathy for other sentient beings? I respect that. Like, I, I, I take this completely. Take this card. Good, good. No, 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 take this card. You seem like a kind of person. There's a speech on here by a guy called Gary Yarovsky. Yeah. He's very intelligent. Uh, some people wouldn't take that kind of. Um, so you're a leader. 
No, it's not a religion, bro. Check you out. You a tattoo with a cow on your neck. It's yeah. not a religion. You know? No, no, no. This I mean, 269, this is an animal rights movement. Right, okay. It's a that male calf. Like a religion, bro. A really? male calf. Really Do you know why I have this tattoo? Yeah. Because people go, what's 269 mean? I say, this is a number given to a male calf born in the dairy industry, who the day he was born had his execution date set. And he's taken away from his mum. His mum was milked until she was killed. So the number 269 represents animal rights and why I stand up for animal rights. I'll dedicate my life to fighting for theirs. So I, I really do appreciate you know what I'm saying? your energy and the dedication you put to it. But I do think all this energy and how you are, like you're strong, you're powerful. I think you can dedicate it to other more important things. That's what I'm saying. But instead of animal rights. There's nothing more important yeah. than animal rights. I mean, that's debatable. That's very debatable. What? I think everyone well, can debate about that. But there's the most life lost animal life lost a year in these industries that kill animals for taste right. pleasure right 80 billion land animals three trillion sea animals okay, so the the sphere of consciousness of all the animals put together in one ball as opposed to all the sphere of consciousness of all the humans in one ball the human one is going to be way bigger the proportion of killed humans as opposed to killed animals is going to be way bigger a human life has more value intrinsically than an animal life it does because but we realize intrinsically your taste shouldn't be more important yeah, than an animal's you're, life. You're going in circles. No, I'm not. You, I'm just being consistent. Point. I'm being you're consistent. Brain. You're bringing in consciousness. You're not talking about sentience. Yeah, sentience. Okay, consciousness, sentience, the same thing. In that case, then there's more sentience in animal life. Because we have, <clears throat> sorry, we have 3 trillion sea animals, 80 billion land animals. Exactly. But there's more sentience in animals. How realize that they're being killed? Like the, the, the specter of how much they realize they're going to be killed is this. It's like irrelevant. Of course it's irrelevant. Right. If they know they're going to be killed or not, doesn't make it immoral to kill them. Of course it does. If I walked up oh, behind oh. this person here and shot him in the head, doesn't mean it's okay. He didn't see me coming. That's not the point, but he knows that there's danger around. He's no, he doesn't. Of course. Let's say this guy over here, or let's say that lady in the blue top, I'm going to walk up behind her, sneak up behind her and shoot in the back of the head. She doesn't know I'm coming. Or she stood there one minute, next minute, her brain's everywhere. Yeah, That's immoral. That's unethical. Absolutely. Just because Why? she didn't see me coming. It's a human. It's going to be the same if it was a cow, same if it was a pig, same if it was a chicken. That's where I disagree. But you agree with me that they're sentient beings that deserve consideration. Absolutely, yeah. But until it gets to a slaughterhouse. Until In a slaughterhouse, they don't deserve moral consideration. I think there should be rules to make it more humane. There's no humane way to kill someone who I mean, doesn't want to die. It's a mantra. You're being the same thing. Tell me, what's the humane way to kill someone who doesn't want to die? It's not humane to kill them. There's more humane. There's no... Yeah, not put them in the more. battery, not feed them like they do to, to actually no. create more, more meat. Like, there's so many other things they can do. There's no... I'll leave you with this. There's no right way to do the wrong thing. Appreciate you, man. All right, mate. Yeah. Have a good day, bro. See you soon.